Good morning. Okay, I have a complete mess on my desk, but I did this last night um, because I want to be able to just come in here this morning and get busy. So that's what I'm going to do. I worked on a few embellishments just to test it out to see what they would look like. Um, and I kind of like what is going on with them. So I'm probably gonna make some more of those. And I'm basically gonna pull from all the stuff I have around me on my desk and just create ephemera. I did a little of that yesterday as well. So things like this, this will be like a little tuck spot. And it was just little bits and pieces that I had around that I put together. Same here, this will be a little tuck spot. Um, I have stuff stuck up under. This is the beginnings of one, but I'm pretty sure I want to add some more to that. And then these are the pieces. I'm trying to get them straight. These are the pieces that I made, and I think they're partially complete based on something that I saw Scrap the World do. Um, she did it for like embellishments to as a rack. And of course it's a different style. They were more shabby chic, but I wanted to kind of convert that into a junk journal thing. It's not exactly the same as what she did, um, but this is the basis, the basics of it. And then I was trying to work out maybe making a bigger version like so, I had to glue two pieces of book page together to get this this big and this long. And then maybe I could do something to turn this into a belly band. I had this scrap to kind of hold it together and I was thinking I could sew it. The main thing, I like that you can see the little pleats on this one, these other two, you can't really see them, but I want the pleats to show more. So I probably need to make them a little wider and of course longer, but there's only so much length I can get out of book page unless I put two pages together like this. So there's that that I may work on and I have some others that I started folding and just need to be inked and decorated. So I've been kind of busy when I could. Um, our condition went out What's today? Thursday, Monday. I think it was Monday night. So <laughs> I didn't get it fixed and it's temporarily fixed until yesterday afternoon. So there wasn't much moving around here because it was just entirely too hot. It's been in the upper 80s, 90s here. So good morning, Latrice. Good morning, White Wolf Mother. Thank you. So I haven't done much of anything. I came in here, like I said, last night because it finally cooled off a little bit where I could and did what I could. Um, and I did a little bit the night before. So at night I was able to spend a few minutes in here, but not too much. Um, okay, so I'm gonna work on those. And then I put these together, what is this? This is another tuck spot that I put together, just collage stuff. Like I said, I'm pulling bits and pieces from off my desk, from working on other projects and just little, like I have bags of little Ziploc bags of stuff. So I'm just trying to use it up. So this is just an envelope. This was a printable from some kit that I had. And then I just took these two little pieces, stamp them. I put washi tape there to um, make it a little more sturdy because this is printed on regular paper. And I'll probably just clip this in somehow. And then here's one that I started on. And this is where I stopped last night. So I need to decide what I'm going to do with this. I don't like that these printables, that they have an outline around them. 
I don't like that, but I guess there's not that much I can do about it. Um, so that is all the stuff that I have been working on, making. I also, um, from our last video, I'm not sure if I showed any of this, um, where my stamping and decoupaging didn't work out so well. I went back, sorry, I'm trying to reach over there and see what else is up there. And this is what I did. So these are just stained um, index cards. This is the oversized, this is the regular size. And I just went back, sprayed them. Um, the design is the napkin decoupage on. So I basically covered the stamping that didn't work. And here's the, the other one. Let's just put a little gesso on there just to grunge it up a little bit. And I did do another one um, with the octopus, but I've already put it in the journal. So, so these aren't any, for any specific journal. I just want to get a bunch of stuff together so that I'm not having to stop and make stuff every time. I want to make a journal. So I was thinking I could use this. I made these tags. They're entirely too flimsy. So they need sprucing up. And I have several of those, but I just wanted to experiment with this one for now. Then I have like these envelopes that I need to put together. Stuff like that. Just need to get some of this stuff off my desk. So I got all of this stuff just over here in the cut. And I wanted to do something with this too, because I like the way the flower looks on there. So I'm just going to piddle around and see what I can do with what I have out here. Um, okay. So I'm going to save that. And then I have also these, I keep saying, let me get busy, but... <laughs> um, so, and then these are napkins that I have. Some of them like this, just, I don't know what I was thinking. But and then this is one I was I used partially. So I'm gonna be doing some more of that. I really like this one and it, look, it has the gold dragonflies on it. That's not very vintagey, but I don't care. I like it. So and then these are my papers. I have just some inserts in here, some old misprinted inserts and some index cards to work with. So I'll probably start off with doing some decoupage because I'm a little bit addicted to that. I really like it. And I'm going to do this tag. This tag was just laying on my desk. So it's going to get it some treatment too, as well as this envelope. I'm just going to test that out. This was one that I tea stained and pulled apart. Tea or coffee stain. When I say tea stain, it's probably coffee and tea mixed together because that is what I do. So, and then I have this, um, is this crepe paper? Because it, that was one of the things that um, Scrap the World did with her little I don't know what these were called, but she made like a little ruffle thing and put her pieces on there. So I think I might do that too, but I don't know when. I just got everything out. This is how I work all over the place. I don't just do one thing at a time if I'm just working myself and not recording a video or whatever. I prefer to just grab and pull and do from whatever I have available on my desk. So this needs to be fixed. Like I said, I don't know what I was thinking. There's nowhere to write on this. It serves no purpose at this point. So I need to fix it. So I'm just gonna back it with a piece of misprinted insert use that side 
Okay. And let's see. I'm going to use this book that I've been using for book pages to apply, even though I have my craft mat here. I don't want to get glue all over it at this early point in the game because then everything will be sticking to it. So, and hopefully this glue will hold it. I'm not gonna worry about getting too close to the edge. I can trim it easily. And this will probably end up being stitched. I don't know. But I cannot stitch um, while I am live because the sewing machine is on the other side of the room. Unless y'all don't mind me disappearing for a minute. It looks like I wanted to get a new sewing machine. Um, because I really need one, but they were all sold out since quarantine. And it looks like they're slowly getting them back in stock because I saw a few uh, on the Joanne website. So, but now I probably won't get one <laughs> because... I gotta replace the air conditioner, so that's out for now. Um, it just makes me sick to think about having to replace the air condition, really, but there's no way around it. I can't survive here. I already told them, I said, if, if this air condition, is, it can't be fixed or replaced, we're going to pack our stuff up and go back to grandma's house. So we'll wait until it gets dark when it's not too hot. Pack it up. And we're going back. Because I can't take it. I kind of want a butterfly on this side. Mm. So I did try, um, I saw a technique where you could take, like, you know, the brown napkins that you get from restaurants or whatever. So I tried <laughs> to print on one. That was an epic fail. Uh, but I'm going to try again. I think it was just because it was entirely too thin. And... I didn't, where's my other brush? I didn't um, put the, put enough tape on it. I only put tape like on the top edge where it was feeding into the printer. And I'm pretty sure I needed to put tape all the way around. Maybe I won't use the brush. I'll just use the spatula if that'll work. Um, to peel all this stuff off. So I'm gonna try it again. And I saw somewhere that you could do it with just regular white napkins before they're taken apart. And just print on it. So I'm gonna try that. That way I can I don't have to buy a whole pack of napkins of a design that I don't want to use forever. And I can just print my own designs. Come on off of there. So, if you did have to go back, at least you know what you would do. Yes, you are right. And I'm more prepared now since I got my ring light. I'm using it now. So, yes, I have a ring light. I'm glad I went ahead and did that before the air conditioning thing happened, too, because I probably wouldn't have gotten it if I hadn't, I, was, I don't know. 
it just makes me sick to have to spend that kind of money. Even though I don't, don't want to be hot. <laughs> but we've been putting band-aids on it for years, so. And I think I'm gonna get, I didn't know there was such a thing, but um, I didn't know there was such a thing, but you can get port a portable air conditioning unit that, yeah, I want one of those. I mean, I'm still getting my regular air conditioner fixed. The um, central air, but I want a portable that way during hurricane season, which starts what next week. And there's already been two named storms in the Atlantic, but um, when hurricane season comes and if we lose power, we have a generator. So we're good there and we could use the portable AC. Fortunately, usually when we have a power outage because of the storm, it doesn't take that long for them to repair it. I think we have an electric worker, worker or power worker, whatever you want to call it, in the area. So that lives in the area. But still. There's a theme here. I can't tolerate the heat. <laughs> I need my manufactured air, definitely. Um, so set that one aside to dry. I don't, I don't really know about that pattern. Um, it's not enough white space, but anywho. I don't want to keep using it, but I want to use up that piece. Uh, then I have a piece of this left, but that doesn't, it's not really anything recognizable. So, let's see. Go ahead and tear this off. I can fix it when it dries, do something else with it. And then I'm just going to take another one of these. And I'm not sure about this thing. I thought it was leaking the last time I used it. But it's not. Okay. So I'm kind of just using these small insert pages they have it has lines on the other side i'm just going to use this kind of like i did the index cards so i'm going to put the the napkin on there and i guess i'm gonna do it this way but the other side is the other way and then um uh, I might end up spraying it or something. I don't know. Hmm. Um, a little short on that side. I'm not going to peel it up. Scooch it over. So what are you all up to today?
Are we frozen? No, okay. Okay. Yeah, um, my craft room actually is the hottest room in the house. So with no AC, with no AC it is unbearable in here. I have it has two ceiling fans. It has um I did have two oscillating fans in here too, but um I just pulled a hole into that. But I had to give up one of the uh, oscillating fans to the boys because it was like an oven in their room. So, but yeah, that's why I said I would like the portable air conditioning unit as well. Then I can, when it's not hurricane season, I can use it in the craft lab so that, because even with the air condition on, it is not pleasant in here, especially in the afternoons because the sun is just shining directly in here. So. I just feel like my whole week is just disturbed because of that. It's just like, I was just sitting there doing nothing because can't do anything. And then I would say, well, I can go in there in the craft lab and get something, bring it back in here to work on in the other room, but this is too, I don't know. This is too much. A different design. I think I like this better. It's prettier. Are the comments working? Because I see a message saying unable to connect to chat. Please try again later. Um, if you can comment, comment and let me know. What is going on with that? I really need a brush. I think I prefer the brush. I just don't want to use the big giant one. Not gonna cover the whole thing. No. Yeah. I was in there working on that AC, trying to get it to work. I know I keep talking about it, but y'all don't understand. The last few days, <laughs> you can't cook. You, I definitely better not turn on the oven, but we'd have to leave. It's just like, oh, can't do anything but just sit there. And I ended up with a headache yesterday afternoon. I, I'm sure it was from the heat because I don't normally get headaches like that. So I like that much better. It's very pretty. Um, 
So I might do a couple more of these as the others are drying. I need more space for drying. This is well on its way, so. Okay, so by the no comments, I'm thinking that the comment is not, the comments are not working. Or the chat, rather, not the comments, the chat. Okay, Doug. So, do I want to do another one of these? Let's try a big one. And I need a paper towel. I can use this or this. I'm not gonna, I'm just gonna take this piece off. I remember I thought these napkins would be good for Easter. Uh -huh. That didn't work out. Cause I didn't do anything. I didn't make anything for Easter. I'm putting back in the drawer. Nope. I understand that this isn't really the way this is supposed to be done. I don't think you're really supposed to cover the whole thing, but uh, I'm doing it that way. Oh, I just ripped it. Sticky fingers. I like the text on there. So since the chat's not working, if you're still here, please give the video a thumbs up if you like the live stream. And if you're catching the replay, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and make sure you're subscribed, turn your notifications on so that you catch me when I go live. Um, don't think you want to move that yet. So, that's so Christmassy. I got to try something with this one. And then I'm going to move on. What time is it? Yeah. I need to move on. Hmm. 
Um, let's try something a little bit different. And uh, take some water and try to pull this apart a little cleaner than I've been doing. Let's see if I can find a halfway decent brush. Sorry for being quiet, concentrating, <laughs> trying to get that off of there the way I wanted it. Okay. Thanks for the thumbs up. Okay. So, let's see if I can move this one now. I guess I could hit it with the heat gun, huh? But that might be a little bit too loud for y'all. I'm going to set this over behind me on my other desk. It can catch the fan over there better, too. Okay. I don't know how I'm going to work with this, but I'm going to figure something out. Uh, is my podge going to dull the foil? I think not. This is watered down my podge, by the way. I think it's one to one. And I just use one of those little, I think it's an eight ounce bottle that they sell at the Dollar Tree. I just use one of those and diluted it. Okay. I'm going to put this one over on the other desk too. Because I'm running out of room. Now, let's wipe this up.
tie it in here. Okay. Put these over there too. You know they're much drier than the other ones. Okay. So now I think I want to work on something dry for a little while instead of dealing with wet glue like that. Um, I'm going to see what I can do with those envelopes. Go ahead and put them together because they can work. I mean, basically, they're good the way they are. Put the napkins away. Um, but they are a little flimsy. Let's see what we can do. To toughen them up a little bit. I can't remember if I fussy cut. Yeah, I had to have fussy cut that out. Um, I was thinking of backing it with another piece of paper, but I really don't want to have to do that. Because that means I got to cut out that scallop design again, and uh, that's not fun. I can ink it up and add some embellishments to it. Where's my other bag? Um, to help make it a little more sturdy. Blue totally doesn't go, oops, but I think I'm gonna use it because it doesn't go. Comments don't work. I kind of like that better. Mm. But wait, there's more. I do have a Another blue box. This, way. this is unorganized, so. And there's no small pieces in here. of a collage piece. No. So I won't use anything there. I do. I'm going to have to go through and organize those. Sorry. My head's in there. Um, these are all pieces that I cut out and made when I had, was going through chemo and I would just sit in the bed and do all this, so. Um, I kind of want to start using up this stuff.
Maybe I could use that on one of the bigger ones. I think after all of that, I prefer the one that says, I think it's Timeless Treasures. So I'll hold these for another envelope and keep this one simple. I could put, huh. Let's try that. Let's see if I can do a ruffle. I don't know. A little clunky for that. And then how am I going to hold it in place? Am I out of frame? Sorry, y'all. <laughs> it always happens when I let my chair scoot back. I just gotta remember to stay up close. Where'd it go? And I wonder if I should put some cheesecloth behind it, if I can find it easily. I don't think I can. Flashlight on my phone. Sure would love your opinion to let me know what this looks like, but for whatever reason, it's not working. Okay, so I can't find it right off. I think it's in the other drawer. So let me just keep going with this. And do I need to fold this under so that the torn edge isn't showing? Fumbling about and make it work. That's weird. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
Should I ink it? Should I leave it? Probably should have put the book page before I put the timeless treasures down. Okay, I'm just gonna roll with it the way it is. how thin this paper is. It's, it's, I don't know why I printed it on here. I sing too much or hum too much. Um, Gonna get me in trouble with the YouTube people. I need to figure out what my style is because I like everything. <laughs> I like the bling look. I like the vintage look. I like the more modern, colorful look. My stuff is going to just be all over the place because this is like I'm going to make whatever I like at the moment. And I notice that most people have just like a style and they just, you know, stick to that style. But I can't do it. I like too many things. It's like, I want to try it all. Because that's more, I don't know. It's a different style with the crepe paper. To me, it is. But yet, I'm still, I'm still adding ink to grunge it up, to make it look old. And... Oh, and I haven't blogged either. I um I have two blogs that I'm hesitant to put up 
they're not, I'm not talking about anything, not really doing anything. They're pretty old too. Um, they need to be edited. But my hair was so horrible <laughs> in both of them. I don't know what I was going through those days, but it's like, it looks fine to me when I look in the mirror before I leave. And then I get in the car, it looks fine. But then when I watch it back on the video, it's like, oh, you look like you just rolled out of the bed and jumped in the car and you didn't comb your hair. So, I know, it's too big. Anything else over there I can salvage from? I really don't know about the blog thing. I think I could probably just do better going live regularly. I wish these were so big. I could trim that down. To fit in there. I want to cut it with the scissors, but I know what will happen. It'll be crooked, and I'll have to keep cutting and cutting and cutting. So let's not. A little bit better with paper trimmer than I am with the scissors. Still a little bit crooked though. <laughs> um, this is a digital from Shabby Dabby Doodah. And I watch her every morning. I think she's in the UK. In her videos, she usually posts like before day in the morning, my time when I'm waking up. So I kind of just lounge around and finish waking up while I watch her make stuff. I do have a re-anchor. I ordered a re-anchor for this um, vintage photo. I'm not crazy about the using the um, distress oxide. <clears throat> excuse me for um, inking edges and stuff. It just I don't know. I'm not crazy about it. I probably need to cut that down more. I should have checked it first, huh? Oh no, that's stuff. Cool. So I'm sure they fly. <laughs> I didn't get much done. There we go. So just having that extra cardstock in there as a little journaling spot or whatever, it does make the envelope a little more sturdy, except for the flap. And I don't know <clears throat> if I should use washi tape there again to toughen it up. And I thought I had more vintage look washi tape, but 
I never even opened this one. Let's open it. Before we go. It's not really vintage looking. Time is flying today. But it's okay. Just put it down there by itself. If I can't find my piece of doily that I had, or did I use it all last night? I may have used it all. It's time to reorganize my space because I've made a mess, an even bigger mess. All right. I think I'm going to do that, but I need to put something underneath it. So I think I'm going to end for today. And I'll be back because I really want to continue building my stash of ephemera. I have a bunch of little pieces, but I need to, or embellishments. I need to um, put them together and make stuff that I can just use, pop in a journal at any given time. So I think I'm gonna put that on there, but I need to find something to go under it. Alrighty. Thank you all for coming on and hanging out, even though we can't chat. Uh, I appreciate you. And don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe, turn on notifications so you don't miss me. 
And I will holler at y'all next time. Bye.